up guys? So today we are going to Zufenhausen. Hassen, Zufenhausen, I don't even know, I'm not German. It's a Porsche event in front of Pasadena, California City Hall. It's a really beautiful event. There's gonna be a beer garden. Um, we're bringing all the shop Porsches out. So I hope to see you guys there. We got our GT4 on BBS LMs, full bolt-ons. Gonna bring our shop 991 our shop 997 and our shop 991.2 gt3 but yeah we're also going to be bringing our buddy greg's gt2 rs which is fully modded on the bbs e89s uh hope to see you guys there what's up guys it's your boy mark i just pulled up right now to the spot to the shop we're gonna go to this event uh i don't even i forgot the name of it it starts with a z but ron is throwing it with brecky it's a Porsche event, so we got all the homies here with the Porsches, just chilling. This is the homie Greg's GT2 RS, of course, with the exhaust cut out like that. Okay. I'm not sure what kit that is. The 1016 maybe. And we've got the BBSs. E89s, I think. There's the homie Josh. What's up? The homies right here. This is Charles. Look, Charles got LMs. Charles got fucking LMs on the Supra. Why are you talking shit? I'm not talking shit. Watch it later, motherfucker. I ain't talking shit. Nah, I'm gonna talk shit. Got the homies here. What up, what up, what up? What you got over here? A little baby turbo. Look at this interior. Brand new Turbo S, year and a half wait. Look at this shit. Navy, navy blue. And I'm sure a lot of you guys seen the new, uh, the 992s now, but you know, with the whole center console update, it's fucking badass, I, I love it. I love the, the way their Porsche's going with their interiors and shit, it's really, really nice. But look at this, this is sick. I guess homie waited a year and a half for this. It's badass. And might get E89s, we'll see. And of course you guys know Stilo, the homie. You guys know Stilo shit. You've seen this on many vlogs. He's got the JRZs. JRZs, a real cup wing. It says it right there. Look at them TEs though. That's the pussy he was talking about. That he was getting, you see the passenger? Oh, what's up guys, we're over here at Zuffenhausen. Calvin, Calvin's right in front of me and uh, we're just, uh, just hanging out. Charles is very happy to be here. Ecstatic. Check, check. It's pretty sick though, City Hall though guys. Thank you so much. Look at this. Got a big old booth selling BBSs. It's pretty sick. This whole thing. Zuffenhausen, I guess. Right here, dude. So raw, man. Alright, guys, you guys gotta check out my boy Bowie's 991.2. This thing is fully built, 1500 wheel, and on Motec. Yeah. There was just a half mile. I'm gonna do the. It's got eyelashes. You got that? This is sick. <laughs> Perfect content right there. Yeah. The exhaust seriously looks like. This shit is nasty. Nasty, nasty. nasty. Ridiculous. Yeah. How long does it take to do all this shit? <laughs> what? December will be three years since I bought it. We used to be in the in the chat together like because he was building this when I, when I had my Huracan and, and West Bank had a 720. We would always be talking like, oh, we're going to race, we're going to race whenever his car is done. And then we ended up selling our fucking cars and he just finished his car. But look at this. <laughs> this fucking hard, you guys. Originally started out as a 991.2 turbo. So, and it's fully, motor's fully built, it's on Motec. So sick. 
guys, check this out. This is uh, this Ice Blast, Ice Blast company that I'm, LeBron just showed me. Think about doing the R34 on that. But look at the major difference. This is, so this is the, the right side of it is, is ice blasted and the left side is, is dirty. And look at the major difference. So it's very simple guys. Basically that's Mark's nutsack and that's mine. Yeah, mine's, mine's slightly bigger as you can see. It's not like distorted. But it's also very dark and mine, you know, obviously, you know, you know. His is shiny, yeah. It's his... royalty, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know. Maybe you can ice blast your ass. Hey man, always wanted to bleach my ass. <laughs> no, all right guys. <laughs> this is it, dude. This is it. They're gonna blow this shit up, dude. This is it. I'll off one. No, man, don't say that. <laughs> Hey, uh, the last video, no, no, hold on. You know, on the 34, he, he had the 34. There's a lot of people, I don't know if you read the comments, they're asking about your dick size. Oh, it's good. What does that mean? It's good. Like in what country? Japan. Sick. Ron coming in big and coming in hard, just how he likes it up his ass. You guys already saw Greg's. The only other thing I really want to show you guys is this yellow but now it's actually getting dark so you guys are not going to be really, really be able to tell but i like this yellow this is eric from supreme powers car this yellow is like super super rare so there's only three of these in the world and this color is like super super rare but i definitely want to paint like one of my cars this color for sure it just it like pops different like first of all that's his yellow gt2 996 which is super sick I don't really like 996, but the fact that GT2 is sick. But this yellow is so hard, it pops. It's kind of even popping right now, and it's like nighttime, you know, but super sick. But yeah, guys, it's getting dark, it's getting late. I think uh, we're gonna leave here pretty soon, go back to the shop and uh, and see what's up. So, see you guys there. <laughs> so, Zufin Hoffen, Hassan was a great show. We're back at the shop. We got the 911s back in. And now, honestly, I just want to whip out the guitar. Me and Eddie used to be in a. I'm just kidding. Fuck you, Mark, you Muslim bitch. Edit this. What's up, guys? Good morning. Back at it. Had another day. Let me just make sure I got all my shit. Taking the GTR today. We are going to uh, Peterson Automotive. Uh, there's a couple of, it's a Honda thing. My boy Sam and Sarah, they're throwing it. Pit and paddock. Uh, I'm just taking just because I want to support them. And I think some of the Integras, they got some cool Integras that they're going to unveil at SEMA. And, you know, I just want to go show my support. So you guys are definitely going to come along with me. Of course, I don't have any gas. So... We're gonna have to figure that out. All right, guys, we made it to the gas station here in Crenshaw, you know, the hood. Um, and the GTR is here, obviously, getting 85. Then we're gonna go to Peterson and see. It's a Honda event, so I don't, I don't expect them to give me any special treatment as far as like parking goes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like the odd one out, but I am gonna go to support uh, and see some homies and see who I run into. Maybe I run into one of you guys, say what's up. So uh, I'll see you guys at Peterson. It's not wide enough. I know. If you want to go to the bathroom, I can give you a better video. All right, guys, we're here at the Peterson uh, Museum for the Pit and Paddock show. There's Joey over here. He's, this guy's a famous guy over here. Okay. Uh, we're over here. Uh, obviously, the purpose of this is the so as the Acura Integra came out, um, they I think 
I forgot what company, but I think either Acura or Pitt & Paddock or, or one of them picked three builders to build their car. One of them was Dai Yoshiara, the other one was Sarah Choi, and the other one was some, I, for, I forget the name, but he's a BMX racer. Anyway, two of the two of the three cars, because Sarah didn't finish hers yet, are here. They're going to unveil that at 10 o'clock. That's the purpose of this whole thing. That's why there's a lot of Hondas. Obviously, I crashed it with the 34, but uh, I was told to, so I didn't just do it by myself. Um, but yeah, so let's check out some of these cool cars. Um, there's a couple that I really, really, really like here, so uh, I'll show you guys. One of them is the Art of Attack Angels EK9 right-hand drive. It's super, super sick. I love the way that it's done. I would drive and build and buy this car if I could, so here it is. See? Endless, Zeal, Voltex, these are all fucking good parts, you guys. This is all good shit. Get that film. Get that hey, film. hey. Get that What's up, man? How are you, man? Good, bro. Um, we're here because we're celebrating, we're getting ready for SEMA and celebrating three very cool Acura Integra builds that are going to debut at SEMA. Uh, we're happy to have two of them here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Sarah's is still in progress, but uh, we're very excited to see it SEMA, but um, I guess we'll uh, start by unveiling two of uh, the ones that are ready. So we'll start with Coco. You want to tell us a little about you and your build? Yes. Thanks everybody for, for coming out today. I appreciate you guys' support. Uh, well, the guys that built the car, it was young at Altitude here in LA. They did an amazing job. Uh, let's, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I've been driving professionally for the last 18 years. And my main thing was drifting, but I retired from your drift last year. And this year I've been building a few cars for SEMA, and this is uh, one of the build. Um, when I got this opportunity, you know, the car is really cool, like what uh, Coco says. Um, it's cool, but I thought it needs to be more sporty taste. So um, I talked to Evasive guys, which is uh, my go-to guys. So Evasive Motorsport did a really good job executing the car looking more sporty. And uh, the theme is actually a uh, 90s um, touring car. So, um, <laughs> Anything you guys want to talk? <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, unveil this. Ooh. Nice ass, Sam. Look at that cage. You guys, thanks for coming out. Pretty cool, guys. I like Dai's car, it's kind of cool with the full cage and shit. Should have given me one. They should have definitely given me one, you guys. I would have fucking done crazy shit with it. See, look at that, look at that center console, it looks cheap as fuck. See like the buttons and the, and the turn knobs and stuff? 
Stuff like this is where people, it looks cheap and I would not pay $2 million for this fucking car because of that shit. But I mean, the paint's really nice and shit like that, but it's not worth 2 million bucks, bro. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? a lot of people when I vlogged the last episode with you guys in there, they didn't ask anything about him, but they liked you. Oh, this yeah. is JDM Jane. But this guy though, he's famous. Yeah, he's I know, but they liked her. <laughs> yeah. The weebs. Oh no, uh, <laughs> Back at the shop. No POV videos today. I don't, I don't know if you guys will ever get sick of them, but I don't like doing the same thing all the time. So this, by the way, the shop's looking super, super nice. Ron and Rob, they got some great, nice artwork. It's looking really nice. I think I'm not gonna do anything with the GTR for a while, so I'm gonna swap it with the Supra. I'm, I like to park it back there. It's Moe's car. And we'll try to figure out where we're gonna place all the other cars, so bear with me. Okay, so this makes sense. I parked it this way because it's right-hand drive, so it's easier to get out. I don't have to worry about Rob's car and his car goes up so we can park close, so that's cool. All right, let's go move West Bank's 9,700 horsepower turbo Supra. almost done Ron already built the wheels and they look amazing from what I hear so just waiting on tires so BBS gang for sure and of course these wheels that some of you love some of you hate again yeah they look small but uh, you got to understand these are the same size because these are the same size faces as this and we double stepped it to 19 and made it look good so I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with these uh, when Ron is finished building all of them, he's gonna do it perfect as always. And I think we're gonna pick four colors for four or four wheels, and you guys are gonna help me decide which one looks the best on the car. So that's the way that I wanna do it. But for now, as always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the next episode is gonna be the Supra. I have some announcements to make on that, some more unfortunate than I'd like, but it is what it is. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. If you guys can, please, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. It's really helping the channel grow. We're growing together all as one. So I really, really can't wait to see what direction this channel is gonna go, go to once it gets really, really big. But for now, it's all grassroots. It's raw as fuck. I know I repeat myself a lot, but it is what it is. I can edit it out if you guys like. So uh, I'll, I'll do my best for those of you that are getting annoyed with it. But again, um, much love to you guys. Uh, without you guys, I would not even be doing this YouTube channel stuff. So really, really appreciate those of you guys that are supporting me and the channel and you know following all the builds and all the cool shit we do here at AR. So I really, really appreciate you guys. So um, yeah, that's it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.